I'm Dan Thorburn from Shimano American Corporation. Been out here with Jared and Alex running the camera boat while they've been filming and I noticed this Corrado was uh, making a little bit of noise on the cast and I wanted to point out how to actually service the SVS Infinity braking. So we're going to go ahead and pop the spool out. It's not a big deal. Sorry, I cut your bait off there, Jared, but you got to do it. So you're just going to open up the side plate, pops open, I'm going to slide the spool out. Very simple process. So, you got your little brake blocks right here. I don't know if you can see, they've got a little bit of dirt build up on them on these edges right here. So you're gonna take a little bit of Q-tips and a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Clean off any of that dirt, excess oil, anything that's on there. Clean all that stuff off of there. You can also do it on the inside here on this brake pipe. It's this little brass piece right here. Just wipe off any of the excess. And you can see all that dirt and junk and stuff that's accumulated on here. It's not too bad for a couple seasons without being serviced. So once that's done, you're going to take your little bit of Shimano Bantam oil, put a couple drops on a Q-tip. And you're going to go right around the same brake pipe that we just cleaned off. Just a very nice, even, light coat. And on your spool, you can do the same thing to each one of these edges on the contact points on your brakes. And that's it. That's all it takes to get rid of that annoying screaming noise when the brakes get a little dirty. Another quick tip you can do if you notice your reel's starting to cast a little sluggish, even if it's not making any noise, take your Q-tip and rubbing alcohol. And you're going to clean these edges on your spool right here. This is typically where dirt and algae and stuff will accumulate. Clean both sides. And then the spool shaft itself. So there's a little bit of oil on the spool shaft from the factory just to keep, keep them from corroding or something like that because there's long-term storage sometimes. And you clean all that stuff off of there. You're going to do the same thing on the frame. So you're going to clean these edges right here where the spool rides in the frame. So these two circular parts right here. And then deep down in here where the spool is, you get all that nasty crap out of there. Take another Q-tip. A little bit of cotton off the end. It's about the same size as the shaft itself. A little more alcohol. And you go right down the center of the pinning gear, right where the spool shaft rides. You just push it down in there, give a little turn, and you pull out a bunch of junk and stuff that builds up in there. And that'll make your reel cast a hell of a lot better when you're all done. That's it.